contains controversial material, which some viewers may find offensive. <laughs> Run by the side of the world, broken hearts, for crying out loud, she screamed 
Richard. The song is about uh, the warnings. It's called Warning. So thank you very much for coming. Thanks for the songs. All right. And there's more. The new album is called Warning. Uh, there's a lot of people who want to get involved in this conversation. And I'll begin by asking you, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the last time we spoke was on the work Tour. You know, this is much music's finest hour right now. <laughs> or hour and a half. Well, let's see if we can pull it off. I'm not gonna are they? Is the audience normally this good looking? Uh, oh, they're fine. Yeah, baby. So the Actually, they time... thought they thought that NSYNC was gonna be here. Oh. Right. Well, how do you think we got everybody to show up? You know, they, we you have to here. settle the bottom of the barrel. It's Green Day. So the last time we spoke was on the Warp Tour, and we were talking about this record, and you were saying that uh, this will surprise some Green Day fans, and the rest will just expect you to carry on. Because uh, you were you were not changing the sound, but you were more optimistic on this record. Oh, 
I don't know. Yeah, it, it sort of step inside it so much. I have no idea. I don't even know what the record sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it sounds like? <laughs> don't lie, don't lie. You hate it. You hate it. Bullshit. Alright, I'll tell you what then. Because this is uh, this is more uh, intermittent interactive, it's a way for everybody to get involved. There's a thing called Speaker's Corner and Speaker's Corner on the road. And what happens is uh, you go all across the country and people get to ask y'all a question. And so let's begin with uh, something on the west side of this continent that would west be. Side? West side! Vancouver! Let's go to Speaker's Corner in Vancouver. Hi, I'm Theo from Vancouver. I'm Craig from Vancouver. Me and Craig were wondering, Green Day, um, among the many influences that you have uh, musically, um, and I think one of them might be The Who that I have overheard once, um, do you have any Canadian band influences, like uh, any rock band, maybe some punk bands that you know of? Uh? Gob is our... Gob is... Hold on, is the damn microphone on? You're on now, man. Oh, okay, Gob is our biggest influence. Gob is... Thank you very much. God, guys, Dan, talk dog. about like pining for fucking <laughs> compliments. <laughs> Is there any <laughs> Canadian bands that you guys like a lot? <laughs> How about the Doughboys? How about the Doughboys? Doughboys, uh, um, the Asexuals, uh, the Tragically Hip, uh, the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, well, we play with uh, Dayglo Abortions, uh, you know. What? Well, SNFU. SNFU. Weezer's not Canadian, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> so anyway, we thank the guys from God for getting involved with their people here as well who want to have a conversation with you. So, Trey, why don't you head on over to uh, me over there? She's got a question for you. Hi. I was just wondering if you guys. Um, wait, what was it? Too slow! <laughs> Wander on. Mia. How do you guys um, think the punk rock lifestyle and the music has changed since the 80s? And do you guys think punk is dead? Now you're well, you know, I, I knew punk. He was a close personal friend of mine. <laughs> and he may be he's dead, nearly but, you know, dead. He's, he lives on within all of us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there you go. I want your body. Uh, uh, Punk is dead to anybody that didn't get it to begin with, so the hell with him. Do you find yourselves having to be the guys that answer those questions about punk all the time? <laughs> we're coming, we're coming. I, I think this is going to be a battle for turf. Hey, it's the insiders against the outsiders. <laughs> Why don't we go way outside and take a phone call right now? Okay. With your phone call. Guys on the phone, guys. Hello, hi, guys. Hi. Hey, I just want to say I like Minority off of the new album, Warning. Oh, I'm the God. cover from the Edge Fest. Trey, this question's to you. I heard that you had a bike accident on the Warp Tour, and is it true? And if it is, could you tell me about it? Describe your accident. Did it happen? I never. F I, hello. I got in a motorcycle oh, accident. Yeah, he got. I he wrecked. He hurt his head, and uh, I hurt my shoulder because I. Oh, shut up! Should have been using head and shoulders. No, I. Uh, <laughs> you saw the bike, guy. It's like tennis elbow. You know what I mean? Uh, excuse me. No. <laughs> hey, look! I'm Sorry. skiing. No. No. <laughs> Right I, got, I got into, I wrecked into uh, Unwritten Law's tour bus. Intentionally? Uh, yeah. Well, and actually, it was their motorcycle, too. I love it. Let's uh, take an email. Now, we have an email uh, question for you guys in Green Day for the Intimate Interactive. It says, hey, guys, I'm from Oshawa, Ontario, which is the motor city of Ontario. Uh, I've been a really big fan of yours for a long time. I'm also a baton twirler. I don't think it has anything to do with your skiing. Uh, I was wondering how the baton twirlers ended up in your most recent video, Minority. Thanks a lot. You guys kick ass. Sharon. We practiced for weeks, and we just couldn't get it down. <laughs> you know, uh, baton twirling is a lost art. But, yeah. And Green Day decided to revive. You guys like yeah. playing that Yeah, man, 69. It's right before Jimi Hendrix. So what do you say we get that turf war rolling? Let's get outside. Oh, we're going, going outside. outside. Come outside. Yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. How are you going? Come on outside. Get 
Better up for Green Bay. Hey, if they suck, we'll come back in. What's that? Look at all these we crazy... We need to take a question from the audience. Yeah. Nice skateboard. Where's Krista? Can they hear anything? Oh, my God. Can they hear anything? Can they hear anything? Can you hear that? 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 My question is, if you guys could be king for a day, what would you do and why? If they could be king for a day, what would you do and why? I'm deaf. I think she said... Who would we kill and why? I believe that was the question, yes. <laughs> if you could be king for a day, what would you do? Apparently you guys would just hang around. Uh, I don't know. If I was a king for a day, I'd make you all go home. Let's take another question now. Let's move over to Mike. Don't you people have? I was just wondering. Um, I was just wondering during the song "Church on Sunday" whether uh, it was a reflection, um, maybe on your personal life, or maybe problems that you've been having with your wife. I was just really curious because I thought the lyrics were very powerful. All right. So basically, you want to find out about the album and the oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Church on Sunday. Woo! You lost your mic. We use this one. The question was the song Church on Sunday. Is it a reflection of your personal life? Someone on your record? Um, the song is, man, it's really uh, hard to uh, talk when people are going. Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's a song. It's a relationship sort of song about uh, uh, trying to keep it real, you know? Keep it real? Downtown Toronto, the world headquarters. Over my shoulders, you see your fine friends in Green Day. We will talk more of them in just a bit, but let's be honest, it's all about this live performance. Please give it up for Green Day.
Duren's been interacting with. Oh yeah. Duren's been interacting with Green Day right here and much music. What's going on, guys? Right, can I ask you a couple questions before we carry on here? Uh, community is always. Oh yeah, he's got the look. Community is always such a big thing in anything you do. <laughs> that was a pitch. There you go. It's all yours. Um, community is such a big thing in what you do. This is going to be an interesting conversation. You're playing that show in San Francisco on Sunday, right? Yeah, we're playing. Lovely. This is, uh, but this is actually for a cause to, uh, I guess, to, to reserve some of the artists. They have some rent control in San Francisco for. Um, uh, Keep going because this feels so good for Trey. It's uh, they have a little bit of rent control for. Uh, uh, what? I don't know. Here, you say it. Are all the dot-com companies in your town buying up all the land and not giving anything back to the artists? Well, we're playing some sort of benefit on the 5th in San Francisco for basically just for rent control. And uh, so It's a rally two days before the vote in uh, that, fucking, yeah. that other place down south. From what we've heard, that's an issue everywhere. So if stand up for rent control and stand up for your local artists, whether it be ballet, painting, sculpture, or rock and roll, either way. And smash the fucking system! So other than something like that, like, are you guys normally very politically charged in your own life? I mean, you obviously you're dealing with, uh, you get you get Gore or Bush, those are your choices right now. Do you I'm get in my him? household with an iron fist. Oh, no. A very old world of you. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> Fuck the United States, we're in Canada. I don't want to talk about that. Well, why don't we stop all of that and just get to some more music? What do you feel about that? Let's do it. Some more live music from Green Day. Get it going. Keep going. Right, let's start off Deep Stink Breath.
some viewers may find offensive. Welcome back to the Chum City Building the World Headquarters for much music. Welcome back to the Chum City Building the World Headquarters for much music in downtown Toronto. I'm George. This is your intimate and interactive. The brothers got a new album out called Morning. It's Green Day, and uh, we have some more songs coming up in just a bit. But I want to start off with a pop quiz. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Right. A pop quiz for the guys in Green Day. Bush or Gore? Uh, neither. Reasonable. Pistols or Clash? Clash. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Uh, I'll say cats. Cats. Elvis, dead or alive? Dead or young? Elvis. Uh, young, young. How about Tupac, dead or alive? Uh, well, he's, he's from Oak. He's from Oaktown. He's from Oaktown, so you know. You never know. Living West Side. <laughs> Mullets or extensions? Mullets! Mullets or extensions? Mullets, mullets. Mullets, mullets, all the way. All right, to give or to receive? Receive, receive. baby. And most importantly, three chords or only two? Three. Four. Four. <laughs> See, because most punk bands only do three chords, but, you know, we try to go an extra mile and do four. That's like going to 11, isn't it? Shh. <laughs> all right, let's take another question from the audience. You want to handle this one? Oh, okay. Whatever. Maddie wants to uh, have a little word with Green Day. Hi, hi. I was wondering uh, what it would take for you to even consider giving up this career. What would it take? Uh, One billion. <laughs> One hundred billion dollars. Uh, this is this is this isn't a career. It's our life. This is what we do. And if we would be up this, we give up our lives. So, so I guess the answer is die. Well, the only thing that would keep us from doing this would be death. They're trade me to another band pretty soon. Have you got somebody in mind, or is it just a cash deal? I'm a free agent next month. I'll be a free agent next month. You'll be a free agent. Let's <laughs> take a phone call now from Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg, Florence. Florence, what's your question for Green Day? Hi there. First, I'd like to say you guys kick ass. Florence. The greatest band I've ever Florence, seen in my whole life. I am the smartest man in the world, but it looks like Florence is taking his shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to know, because I have seen you guys on Jay Leno and things like this, who is that other guy that plays the guitar in some of your songs? Jason. Oh, uh, Jason. Where's Jason at? Oh, Here, Jason. Let's just Jason. Jason. check my Jasonometer. And uh, now you guys can't <laughs> find him to play for you. <laughs> what is yeah. happening? Jason! 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 Also, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this, is, this is Jason. Uh, right. He also plays in a really great band called The Influence. And uh, that one too. So, uh, and I don't remember. I'm about to be 27, I think. Well, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Cool. All right, let's take another question. An email question if we can. And uh, Billy Joe. There you go. It's not, it's not today. <laughs> you all. Thanks, anyway. You got up. Okay. Track is in the room. Sorry, Jason. You can dress him up, but you can't take him out. Right, Billy Joe, this is a question. Do you, uh, you work with Rancid on radio? Uh, you also do the cover of the Operation Ivy Song Knowledge. Do you guys have any plans to work with Rancid in the future? Because that would be the coolest. And uh, P.S. My friend Colette got to play guitar with you at the Calgary show. So there you go. Do you plan on working with Rancid again? What was the second half of the question? Colette got to play guitar with you uh, guys at Calgary in the Warp Tour. The coolest thing ever and followed by you guys are truly gods. <laughs> would we ever... Uh, work with Rancid. Would we ever work with Rancid? Didn't you where I... I don't think Rancid have no. jobs. <laughs> well, they will be in Toronto on Saturday. <laughs> Is that what you call what they do? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, you know, Rand said, yeah, you know. Uh, we're we, rowing their own boat. Yeah, I don't know. They're doing their thing. We're doing ours. And, uh... You're doing it better. Yeah! Well, moving right along. Moving right along. Let's go to another speaker's corner. This time, let's go to the other side of the country, to Halifax. What's your question for Green Day? Hey guys, it's Lloyd here in Halifax. Just wondering, what is your opinion of the worst thing to happen to the music industry besides teen pop music in the last five years? Probably the uh, music. the rap metal <laughs> thing that happened. <laughs> yeah. How do you explain for for what it turned into? It's hip hash. <laughs> 
Head shop. Well, that'll probably tie ne uh, neatly into what we're doing here on your website. Uh, you know, for a lot of bands, the website wasn't a big deal ten years ago. Now it's such an integral part of what you do. You guys have a very special part for your fans called the Idiot of the Month, uh, which uh, has got some interesting presents. Actually, throw. Oh, how very nice. There's a picture of me. I guess we've hacked into it. I'll be your Idiot of the Month. How do you get to be an Idiot of the Month for Green Day? Uh, a couple dozen ways. I was once. Now look at me. You <laughs> get to be in the band. What? So apparently that's what you got to do. So what do you have club. to do? What do you have to do to be the idiot of the month? Oh, what do you have to do to be the idiot of the month? Drink lots of. Apparently we just found out. I'm the idiot of the month. All right. <laughs> Hi mom. Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey. Okay. What do you have to do besides give twenty dollars? <laughs> All right, guys, let's head outside. Let's get that turf board going again. Thank you very much, man. We're going back outside. Go to the window. Go outside. Okay. All right, give it up. Here comes Green Day. Here comes Green Day. How's your child doing, by the way? It's cool, Mike. My baby wants to crowd surf for the first time. You guys ready to float this baby? <laughs> there he goes. All right, let's take a question from the audience right now. Justin's got a question for Green Day. What's your question, man? Yo, what's up, guys? I was just wondering if there's a big rivalry between L.A. punk bands and California heavy bands and shit. What's that? Is there a big rivalry, Is there a big rivalry between California punk bands and California hardcore bands? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I, we don't have any rivalries, so. Or rivals. Well, you might have just started one with Rancid earlier. <laughs> they started it. Someone said something out. All right, let's take another Crowd question said. right now. Oliver. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, man? If you could be a female celebrity, who would you be and why? I'd be that chick from the Golden Girls, because she's old and loose. Welcome, Blanche! 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 Blanche, that's who you're gonna be. What? So, if you could be uh, one female celebrity, who would you be and why? Uh. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be any of them. Those women don't have spines. Uh. Who's Chrissy Hine, I'll say that. Chrissy Hine, that's who you're gonna be and you, my friend? I can't even I can't even begin to think that that's straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more with Green Day, more live performances. Stick around after the break. Come on. This is one hot ass party here. Green Day, intimate interactive, and much music. Begin, my friends. More Green Day.
Who wrote Holden All right, so I want to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, let's begin with, uh, this is something we didn't get a chance to talk about last time, but a lot of people have been asking me to ask you, how did you feel about your song being used on the last Seinfeld episode? Not any different from it being played on much music. Well, fair enough. It's, it's all selling records, right? Uh, no, it's just, you know, the song gets out there. I don't know. We didn't make any money off it, so, I mean, whoever wants to play it, they can play it, so... You need to work on your deal if you're not going to make any money off that. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Right, let's take a fax now if we can. Uh, and this is uh, sometimes when you're singing, you make a face, and it makes me think of Popeye. Would you do an impression? Popeye. Popeye. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Trey Cool. <laughs> This whole summer tour thing for you, I mean, you, you, you make the record in the summer, you did the Warp Tour. This is still fresh freshman, this is getting fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess what we should do is say, do you want to hear more music from this band? Mm -hmm. Well, there'll be more music coming up. Hey, man, you know what I've noticed? At every show, you burn your you burn your kit down. How do you, how do you, you know, fight? The what do you say? I'll burn your house down. I'll be fine. Oh, we got well, how do you, how do you stop, you know, the challenge? You want to do it here, don't you? No, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> we don't want to do that. All right, let's take an email question right now. Hey, guys, uh, you know, what were some of the jobs that you had before becoming musicians? Thanks, Amanda from Moncton. Uh, I delivered uh, pizzas. I used to cook stinky fish. And what did you do for a job before? <laughs> I sold uh, newspaper subscriptions. There goes that. Kind of like a paper route. How long do you guys plan on doing this thing as, as Green Day? I have no idea, but all I know is we got two songs left. You want to get to them right now? Let's do it. All right, you want to hear more, two more songs? Guys, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Green Day. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks, man. Give up for Green Day. I'm not 